Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on August 22nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out with a look at our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at 304 angstroms here, large plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere, and as well, one M-class solar flare to report since last night's update. Having a look here at incoming imagery. Cresting into view, big plasma prominence there on the left-hand side, which is in the southern hemisphere of the sun. As well, some tall cresting plasma filaments. Looking at outgoing here, we did see a couple coronal mass ejections. No major CMEs thwarted our way. Going through a quiet time for solar storms, considering what we've seen the past few weeks. Having a quick look here at the M-class solar flare and those large plasma filaments. Some backside activity as well. Multi-spectrum here. There was a coronal hole there, but it quickly diminished after a space weather event through the region. Another light here, just some amazing images. And thank you all for watching. We're getting very close to 80,000 followers. With right now, an active nine sunspot regions. Look at these active sunspot regions in motion sped up a little bit here with daily events worldwide current space weather conditions we are under r2 moderate radio blackout impacts expected limited blackout of high frequency radio communication solar winds are coming in at 382 kilometers per second right now solar x-ray flux Showing here, mostly in the C range, but did pop up strong M-class solar flare last night, and as well a moderate one today. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity is low as well, sitting at just under KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center updating their spiral today. No new space weather events, minor geomagnetic instability tonight and into tomorrow. And then again, 25th into the 26th. Stay tuned for updated spirals as space weather events happen. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral here, showing Mercury, the little orange planet there going in between us, finishing its retrograde. Most recent CME being documented from the cresting limb, not in an Earth-directed fashion but did produce quite a coronal mass ejection. Images here with LASCO 2. There's also a little bit of imagery missing just before the large CME. We will slow it down. Watching right here, 21st into the 22nd, there's about six or seven hours missing before that large coronal mass ejection took off from the sun. And then another blast. Oy. Solar Cycle 25 putting on a show. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we had a sizable earthquake here to report. Hawaii, Fern Forest, Hawaii, reporting a 4.7 magnitude earthquake at a 6 kilometer depth. There's been two sizable earthquake swarms there the last couple weeks, waiting for an eruption at Kilauea or quite possibly in the southeast rift where all these earthquakes are occurring. Having a look here, USGS is reporting 43 out of the 240 on the Hawaiian island. So not quite a swarm just yet, but that earthquake on top of Mauna Loa, right on top of Mauna Loa in the caldera is a little bit concerning, everybody. 240 earthquakes in the last 24 hours brought to you by USGS. Overlooking across North American soil, notable earthquake here, 2.4, Hagen, Georgia, as well, Missouri. 
Minor seismicity continues, but no swarms through the California state. Carrying on here, largest earthquake today, 5.4 earthquake. Actually reported last night, Russia. Deepest earthquake last 24 hours, 361 kilometer depth, 4.9 Fiji. As well, just recently, Isangil, 4.7. And then today, these earthquakes were coinciding with each other, 5.1, 5.1, and then 5.0 going back and forth. As well, notable activity up into the Philippines. Notable SO2 plume being forecasted coming out of that region. So definitely a volcanic eruption. Central America here through Nicaragua. Seismicity continues. That's a little bit notable. It's been continuing all week. Cote Rose, Peru, 4.4 as well. Bolivia with a 4.4, 208-kilometer depth, though. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 4.7. 4.4 earthquake there. Uh, Eastern Iran, and as well, China with a 5.2 magnitude earthquake right north of Tibetan Plateau. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you enjoy these updates. Share with a friend and YouTube will share everywhere else. Let's grow to 80,000 followers together, staying aware and prepared. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, please just have a plan and be ready and know what to do during a very large earthquake and possible tsunami event. Carrying on here, let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our 65 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Notable huge plume coming out of Kamchatka from the eruption quite a few days ago. But notable plumes coming out through Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Italy. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, Southern Europe. Mount Etna has been active all week. And here is a look at Philippines. This is what I was talking about earlier. Notable plume coming out of Northern Philippines. Towards the Tal Volcano. And as well, big plumes here. Scooting across the southern regions of Australia. Not sure where all of this SO2 is coming from. But I do believe that it's coming from the Heard Volcano in the South Indian Ocean. Look at the southern hemisphere right now. Being inundated by sulfur dioxide emissions. From the active and erupting 65 Volcanoes across the planet. Big plume there, south of Australia, and as well some very strong winds. Stay tuned for the weather forecast coming up. Some interesting details for Australia. Still an interesting plume coming out of the Central Atlantic as well. Not sure where that came from. No updates yet through the North Atlantic volcanic regions. Now let's have a look at weather here as we've got extreme weather forecast for Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Big lows moving through this week. Long-range forecast shows big high-pressure ridge keeping things warm in the east and most of the systems coming out of the west still being blocked by a high-pressure ridge off the coast of Washington, California. Watching the long-range, big, low-pressure system here. Set to bring in massive amounts of moisture for northeastern United States. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Tropical storm Ernesto making landfall, scooting across both Ireland and the United Kingdom up into Norway. And then probably wrapping itself around the North Pole to circle around our planet again. Some strong systems coming through out of the North Atlantic, as well as Central Africa. Some pretty big systems here developing long-range forecast. We could see some doozies here forming off the coast of Africa in the remaining weeks of this Atlantic hurricane season. Stay tuned. Daily updates 
with daily events worldwide, hit the notification bell set to all so you don't miss an update. Carrying on here, heavy rains and as well strong systems and winds for eastern India and as well typhoon for Japan as that makes landfall next Tuesday into Wednesday. Western India as well, low pressure system hanging around. Australia, New Zealand. Watch for some low pressure systems to scoot across Tasmania and over into New Zealand for Saturday into Sunday. Look at the size of these systems here south of you in the southern hemisphere right now. A very windy event. Some strong winds, heavy rains, and I'm pretty sure some record cold temperatures are going to be associated with all of these systems scooting through. If you haven't seen what our southern polar vortex looks like just yet, have a look at the last couple minutes of last night's video. Give you an update on what our upper level winds are looking like right now and what we could be seeing for this year, 2024, 2025 winter. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.